Howdy everyone, it's Montana, Airgunner here again, and on this video we're gonna dive into Airgun Accuracy 101. Yay! Alrighty, so I'm gonna be making a series of videos where I go a little bit deeper into Airgun Accuracy and what are the things that I have found to be super helpful and effective. And uh, on this first video, we're gonna actually just dive deeper into the gun's uh, torque rates and especially on the scope. So what I have here is a Wheeler Engineering uh, scope mounting kit. It's a little bit bulkier setup. I bought it a long time ago. And this actually has the torque wrench and then the bubble levelers. And what I found out in the past that this isn't the best setup actually, what to have. And uh, I would recommend to have the leveling kit separately and then the torque wrench separately because it's much easier to level your scope with those ones than the setup that I have here. <clears throat> and I would much rather recommend that setup than the one that I have. But the most important ones here are the levels, how you can mount your scope. So I got two bubble levels here. I'll just set them here for the time being. And then I have the torque wrench with the applicable ends or heads. <coughs> And what's important on this one, it's that it's uh, relatively accurate, the torque wrench. And then of course you need to have good heads to do all the talking and stuff. And uh, what I found out myself, the best way to mount the scope, I actually have a video of it here, is to go crisscross pattern. So first you put it into hand tightness, just a little bit with fingers. Then you start going crisscross while you are having the bubble level either on the top or then mounted on the bottom. And while doing that, you maintain the level of the actual rail. So you have a level here on the rail and then also on the top of the scope and then on the actual guard. And while you're doing the crisscross pattern, always check that it's not moving anywhere and always tighten the scope rings to their recommended torque rating. And what I would recommend doing with the, these fat wrenches is to zero them every once in a while. So go up and down on the scale three times. So up, down, up, down, up, down and uh, then it should be relatively okay and in check. And when you're storing these, never store them when they're talked. That's one thing to keep in mind so it stays stable and uh, accurate. And yeah, that's about it. That's my tips for the first little video, is to always have everything talked to spec. And when I go to the competitions, I always check the talks before the competition, so if anything's changed during the travel when I go to the competition, I always have a torque wrench with me, then I'll just go and double check everything, and if everything is okay, we're good to go. So I hope you found this video to be informative and helpful, and I've added a couple of links down below uh, where you can support the channel if you wish to do so, totally free for you. So if you just click a link, it'll do a small commission, it's like half a percent or something, so everything helps out. And I hope you've gotten some good valuable information out of this video, and I hope you're doing well, staying safe under these circumstances, and I'll see you on the next one.